day 21 of the SOS free challenge where for the last 21 days I've had with few exceptions um, no salt I've had no sugar added sugars and no oil um, so for those of you that are concerned my I'm not sure if it's a spider bite or a mosquito bite we're gonna go with it's a mosquito bite but my face is no longer all crazy tingly and my lips are no longer swollen and so whatever in the world that is it still itches like crazy but at least it's not uh, it's not causing any damage or anything so anyway so weigh in day number week three um, good news and bad news bad news is um, I've gained weight again so um, I am actually about three and a half pounds more than I was like three weeks ago which is insane um, but the good news is that uh, I have found a diet lifestyle that really doesn't work for me and I'm going to be done with it that's, that's good news because I'm really not enjoying this whole no salt thing at all but um so I'm going to finish out today and have this be the three week mark um, and that's just that's it I'm done I'm done I can't it's not sustainable for me to gain a, over a pound a week um, and think that that's gonna work out well so I'm calling it abort and ceasefire and all that good stuff on this particular plan this challenge was a fail I, this doesn't work for me at all so keep in mind that again I've said this before I'll say it again I did absolutely straight SOS free and didn't follow any of the other guidelines things that other people that follow an SOS free diet might do for example um, I did eat overt fats as in like a little bit of peanut butter here or there or a little bit of avocado here or there and not not really that much but you know any is more than none um, so <clears throat> I am I brought um, so I got up early today and I was working with Preston on his um, um, his literature class and he has to read this little story and work on all these ideas and thoughts and plans and whatever so we worked on that for about an hour and a half and then um, I made myself a salad and um, while I was making a salad my husband had made some noodles for me some um, they're just I think they're white rice pasta not brown rice pasta you know I don't know either white or brown rice pasta I'm not sure probably white because it's a fettuccine type noodle I don't know if they make those with the brown rice or not but anyway it doesn't matter so um, he made those and I'm we mixed the rest of the acorn squash with the noodles and then I put some of the sauce that my mom had made for me yesterday that I you saw a picture of on top of that so it's kind of more like spaghetti now that's got um, some of the pasta noodles in there with it so I'm really excited about that my husband made me a um, mint smoothie to drink and it's already gone which is very sad because it's really good I really enjoyed it um, so yeah it's all gone and um, and I have an apple so I have a salad and an apple and my um, my main meal with the, which is like spaghetti ish so today is SOS tonight is SOS free completely and then starting tomorrow um, I don't have any immediate plans for what I'm going to do starting tomorrow so I am definitely going to um, take a couple days off and then I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something fun before I start the next 30 day challenge so um, you guys have to stay tuned to figure out what that is but I think it's gonna be actually quite fun and enjoyable so hopefully you guys will think the same thing I don't know but anyway I'm looking forward to um, this is actually the next mini challenge will only be for six days and like I said it'll be something fun I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge and to, to trying it so uh, yeah I need to go into work I'm tired but not like exhausted excuse me I'm not exhausted from lack of sleep I'm just tired typical adult have to get up and go to work kind of tired <laughs> But anyway, so I'm going to go and um, get clocked in and go go work and um, have my food. And then hopefully I'll get to chat with you guys again tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll 
maybe I'll be by myself for a few minutes tonight and I can have a quick word with you um, as far as letting you know what's going on or maybe I can show you my it's very hard for me to show you my main meal that I bring because right then there's always two other people in the pharmacy when I'm eating and so yeah awkward much talk to your phone Heather what are you doing that kind of thing so I haven't really talked with people at work about what I do on um, with my YouTube videos and stuff so not yet at least maybe sometime in the future I'll I'll bring it up but not for right now so anyway I gotta go and I will talk to you guys again later Okay guys, so this is what I was telling you about earlier. There are some of the noodles and the squash and there's my mom's yummy um, stuff on there. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Anyway, so I've already started eating obviously as you can see, but I, now by myself. So I thought I would show you what it was that I had put together. It is so, so, so good. Um, no salt, no oil, no sugar, but terrific. And I asked my mom what was in it and she was just like, oh, it's just basic ingredients, mushrooms and onions and peppers and tomatoes and tomato sauce and some spices and then she blended some dates in with some of the tomatoes to make it um, a little bit sweeter which is good because tomatoes can be pretty acidic but doesn't that just look absolutely wait for it to focus it's coming there we go does that not look fabulous oh my gosh yum anyway just thought I would share with you guys what my supper looks like and it tastes delicious I actually ate an apple while I was waiting for this to microwave because I was so stinking hungry that I needed to eat something right away so I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my food. I will talk to you guys again later. Okay, so it is the end of day 21 and I am ready for bed. Well, I'm not, I'm still dressed in my clothes for work, but I'm done with school for the day. Um, we did some, actually did a social studies test with my middle child, which took a lot longer than I expected simply because he had to write out answers. And so um, it's all open book, but <clears throat> We don't really use the book. It's just a matter of prompting him to be like, for example, um, had to talk about communities and why Denver might have been located where it was and why it might have grown um, as what helped it to grow bigger. Um, and just prompting him like he said, well, the mountains. Okay, well, what about the mountains made it grow bigger? <laughs> you know, just the fact that they're there. And so... Yeah, I asked him what the definition of a community was, and he was telling me, well, it's a place where people live and where they work and where they have fun. And I was like, well, how do you have fun in the mountains? So, of course, he had to think about that. And So, anyway, got to do that part and got all that done. And, uh, yeah, right now he's listening to a his uh, guidance counselor has a class once a month that they have to go in and listen to and do a project on. This last project was actually really kind of cool. It was kind of easy and fun. It was... He had different choices, but the one that both of my boys picked was to um, help make a meal and take a picture of it, describe it, and send it to her. And so, actually, I had already taken pictures of meals that they had helped with, conveniently enough. And so, we just had to upload the picture, and then they described it. And the one that Connor had was um, when my daughter came back from... Uh, California we had a welcome home party for her and so we had minestrone soup and salad and uh, watermelon and Korean melon and all that kind of stuff and so he he did that one and she was oh that looks delicious <laughs> I was like yep it was and then Preston chose to do um, he had helped me make refried beans which are not fried at all but anyway refried beans and um, then my husband had made shells for them I couldn't remember if he'd made shells or if we just used lettuce. He'd made shells for them. And there was rice and there was that. And there was, uh... I don't remember what else help Preston helped me put together. But anyway, it was all in the picture and all three boys were sitting at the table. And I just put everything in big, huge bowls between them. And they scooped it out onto their plate and made their own shells and did all their own thing. And they were super pleased with themselves. And Preston made limeade for supper and all that kind of stuff. So that was pretty cool. That was fun. Anyway... Um, yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. And then tomorrow, Connor has a math test and a big science project to work on and some other stuff. So, anyway, I will end up uh, talking to you guys again in the future um, very shortly because I'm going to work on my fun project. And uh, until then, hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you again later.